Hello, um, this is Ron Ahmed with you and this is uh, lesson number uh, two in uh, FreeBSD. In this lesson we're going to show you uh, different methods of installing applications, uh, native applications uh, of uh, FreeBSD and for BSD. Now, <coughs> the first method we're going to talk about is uh, the use of sysinstall okay uh, and this method okay we'll be using it to uh, install some packages and uh, we type uh, sysinstall okay and then we move to by using the keyboard arrows to uh, configure and where it says uh, do post install configuration of FreeBSD which means like after you install the whole operating system this is the step where you install the applications and you do all other uh, configurations from as we will be seeing like installing applications here using packages and maybe fix your uh, console mouse that we uh, see here okay just to make it clear on the blue and uh, of course, not uh, networking, okay, and uh, also uh, you can fix the time, fix uh, everything else, okay. Now, uh, from all this, we need uh, just the packages, okay, and I press enter over the packages. Now, there are different sources of uh, pulling out this. Uh, uh, I mean, pulling out. Uh, uh, packages from uh, their sources, the, the corresponding sources, which are using the internet or using uh, the uh, CD or DVDs. Okay, now uh, here, uh, when you uh, use system install, it will search for a file named index.gz. I think okay, it's a file named index all cap all caps, and uh, this file contains. Um, the list of uh, packages that uh, are provided uh, uh, to be used and installed natively on uh, FreeBSD and run natively on BSD uh, without any other emulation and uh, I'm talking about this because uh, FreeBSD depends so much on other uh, open source software like uh, Linux uh, software and um, uh, this index file also tells you uh, if, for example, you want to install uh, a package na a package named X. Okay, X might need some libraries Y. Okay, so library packages Y. So, for example, if I want to use uh, GNOME, I need the libraries of which is the desktop manager, of course. I need the uh, X windows just to install it. Similar to, for example, if you want to run a car, you need uh, you need an engine and uh, fuel and wheels and the rest, blah blah. Okay, and yada yada. So uh, we move to using the CD, but here I'm using uh, my own uh, VMware machine, which is the virtual machine. Okay, and I must connect it. So I press connect over here. Of course, uh, it's not uh, a CD, a real CD. Here we are using directly the image that I've downloaded uh, from the internet. And I say here connect. Okay, and I save. Then, because the first source I'm gonna going to use is the uh, CD, and uh, I press enter. Okay. Now I'm gonna going to install some small software, okay? Something like um, let's see, something like maybe let's see networking utilities. Maybe something like. Uh, 
Yeah, maybe if you want to install something like uh, FFmpeg, oh no, it's not a networking utility, but it is uh, an audio encoder. Okay. I hope it doesn't take long. So I know it's from the DVD, so it should be fast. I press enter over here by using after pressing tab. Then I move uh, the key uh, to the using the right key on the keyboard, right arrow key, and press install. And I just move the tab over the OK and press enter and just wait until everything uh, gets installed. Okay. So currently it's uh, being installed. So I'm uh, going to wait until it uh, gets totally installed. I'm going to pause the video until it finishes. Now, okay, now, uh, now it's uh, it's installed. So just to make sure that it has been installed, I quit like moving to the cancel and now to the exit. Okay, it will remove for me the DVD. Okay, you should have had it burnt. Okay, and transform that uh, uh, ISO image into a real CD containing uh, a huge number of files. Okay, like you should not see a file.iso only, you should see and you should not see that uh, ISO file already, you should see different, different, different scattered files over uh, and uh, scattered files over the CD-ROM okay, on the DVD so which is the same CD that we are using, uh, the same one we are using to uh, that we used sorry, to install the operating system at the start you, you should be using that now here is FFmpeg I press enter and I get all these things. This means that I have FFmpeg on the command line. I can still use it and encode my videos. Okay, now if I want to uninstall something, so press go to uh, system install. Okay, and I just uh, go to configure and just go back to packages. Now, of course, I must connect my DVD again. Uh, go to uh, where I found the file. So it is here. I just move with the key, uh, arrow keys of the keyboard, and then press the space just to remove it. Don't check it, and I say yes. Okay. And I'll press OK and let's just say OK. Let's, let me let me repeat it first, make sure that I've done it right. See it's gone. Okay. So now I'm going to tell you also it's very important to do because you don't have it uh, after the first install first time run of, of the operating system of course so I go back here and I go to shell because I want to install bash so you make sure that you installed bash okay and after you install it you quit the system install and do this ch sh which means change the shell okay into one of the available shells. Okay, the available shells are mentioned over here. Okay, those are the available shells. So I'm going to use bash, this one. Okay, so what I do is chsh Okay, for the user I, I have now, by default, okay, it takes the current user, okay, the current user that you are logged in with, but CHSH is used only uh, through the administrator, which is root, okay, same thing, this is root, this is the username, at the host named 
or add the machine named FreeBSD. Okay, and I press enter and I get all the information. So I change the shell into the path that's available in the shell uh, file that we uh, use the command cat uh, with a TAT. Okay, and I press escape and then W and quit. So it changes the information. Same thing you do for the other user, the your own user, which is the Oracle, and uh, press enter and you change it same for every user that you have you have to do it okay now if you want to give them all a uh, bash <coughs> now the other way of installing uh, packages is uh, using uh, the ports ports is a tree or before that let's go to sys install and tell you how to install from network from the internet so I um, go to configure now I go back to packages and I use the internet using NFTP server and I select the main one okay yes it's configured if it's not configured you configure it okay see it's now downloading the index from the internet okay look look here uh, I'm running uh, VMware on Linux okay so this here is telling you the that the bandwidth is working okay see there's a bandwidth over here so I'm gonna pause the uh, video until it, uh, it finishes downloading the index by the way the index will always uh, be uh, install uh, download will be always downloaded every time you run this install from the internet okay because it is the on the updated one from the internet right away and uh, you'll get a bigger uh, list of uh, packages okay so you can have uh, a really fully working system as you should you know, or I mean as you would like to uh, like it to have okay so um, so I'm gonna pause the video okay going back to our work and um, see this is a bigger uh, list of uh, packages okay so I'm gonna try for example install something uh, small okay something that's very small uh, maybe with editors I think I must find something and maybe use something like uh, nano or whatever something as small as So I'm using nano, hopefully it's small. So it's go going to be installed from the internet. I just press enter and just move to the install button. And I press enter, press enter again, and it should go online. You should see here that it is downloading. Okay, so now it's installed. Yes, cool, that's great. It's very small. Okay, and that's all. And I can exit my installation and this is nano okay so control x and I say no I don't want to save again I can go to my system install and I go to configure okay and my own packages let's say on uh, FTP again and my main site okay it's logging in located and uh, I'm gonna wait until it downloads again because I wanna remove the uh, package okay okay 
going back I'm going to uninstall a nano so I'm going back to the editors and then I go to nano just push down quickly okay and press delete and that's it and press ok install ok cancel exit and say nano I think there's no nano at all okay so nano is gone now moving to the next uh, uh, method which is uh, using uh, the ports okay the real ports which is uh, using this command first I must go to the uh, root fo folder of the root user and press control L so we can clear screen and if I want to, s uh, to uh, get more uh, applications okay there's this way uh, we have something as I said there's the po uh, uh, something called the ports the ports is uh, the tree of all applications uh, and the source codes and through it you can build your application from source code which is which means like you're using the um, the uh, the text uh, written uh, the text containing uh, containing all uh, programming uh, algorithms and things like that to build uh, your application and to make you an application that you can use on FreeBSD. So I'm going to change to this directory cd slash usr slash ports. Okay, and before that I have to. Uh, do uh, ports snap okay and fetch now this will uh, get me the tree of uh, the ports okay which is uh, which should be under uh, slash usr slash ports but I have already downloaded it so I don't want to re-download it okay and it would be you will see a progress bar or progress line setting you that how much has been uh, do downloaded and it uh, can uh, resume your download don't worry about that okay and uh, this fetch you do it once okay and it will uh, call the mirrors of FreeBSD mirror servers okay now you have to do uh, the ports extract if this is your first time okay okay so I'm gonna do this it's gonna take a very very long time so for that thing I'm gonna pause my uh, video for now until it finishes okay going back going uh, back to our work and uh, now I've got the uh, the new tree of ports okay as you see here you have under the slash usr uh, slash ports like there's a category for example x11 is the uh, windowing system okay? and there are the applications below it and all the other uh, libraries or packages okay and uh, I must do again another one which you should do use every time okay you want to uh, use the ports okay which is update okay and it tells you that it has been updated okay and it's already updated uh, next thing is I want to uh, install things from binary which means like the applications are already built okay so first I must search and know wha uh, if uh, those applications are there okay so I'm gonna do this uh, make here you should do this command uh, under slash usr slash ports okay now uh, make search 
uh, using this keyword which is key equal for example I'm gonna install nano again okay and I'm gonna pass the output to uh, the searcher or the text uh, searcher to searching tool or finder tool named grep okay and I'm gonna uh, use or uh, uh, search for the word port now why I'm doing this because I'm gonna get it like this see there are heaps heaps I don't want that okay so I'm saying guys use this grip okay ports port sorry okay I'm gonna pass it also to less okay so I press Q again so uh, and using less you can just go up and down okay using the keyboard arrows now um, this is my package nano I want to install it okay so I'm going to use only the name without the version so I use this command package add underscore add and I have to use the internet minus R okay I'm, I'm obliged by the way to get the epic packages this way unless you have it uh, like a package like a local package somewhere okay so package uh, minus R Okay, package add minus R, nano, and I press enter and I wait. Okay. Now it called, uh, it entered the server. Okay. And it's now downloading nano and I've got it, so I've got back nano again. Cool. Now. I want to delete nano so I'm gonna say package delete nano Man, package delete let's go for the search again maybe we can find the exact name so no no Package delete nano dash 2.2.6 and it has been deleted. Cool. Now, now, um, now this is the way to install and uninstall applications from uh, the internet. Okay using binary binary already uh, built for us uh, packages. Now I want to know now where is nano okay now uh, and wh uh, which uh, which folder it is so I can in the slash usr slash pro so I can install it uh, from source okay so let's make sure that nano is gone so there is no nano now it's not completing the name okay the command so because I press tab so it can uh, resume the uh, or complete the names for me okay now yeah so I say where is okay nano so it tells you nano is listed under this folder so I'm gonna change to CD editors and nano okay now if I press type ls to list what's inside this folder okay so I'm getting here like a file named make file this uh, this is a script that tells me or tells the operating system where to find the uh, source code of the application and uh, it will go to the internet and download the latest version of it and uh, it will 
build it for us okay gonna show you the different ways of building from source uh, okay so um, make and press enter so it will uh, grab it from the internet it's just around one megabyte and a half and I'm going to wait a little until it finishes okay resuming now it's it was getting built see all those all this information I press shift page page up maybe or maybe I don't know else anyways issue is that this uh, all this is be uh, is got built okay and now it has been transformed from uh, its code maybe in C++ or whatever the language is uh, programming language is and then I want I must install it now using make uh, alone just to build the application without uh, installing it into the usual system so we can from anywhere uh, run it so then I'd use this command which is make install okay and it will copy it to the usual system and you'll see nano just by typing only nano you'll be finding it okay so it has been installed so I press nano see it is there I press enter it's there okay now if I want to uninstall it okay I should do the following first of all you have to understand when you're building from source it will blot your system and it will take so much space okay so you it's better that you clean your uh, system from all source codes uh, after you built it so if you uh, are uh, ready to do that okay so I'm gonna uh, clean here my installation uh, uh, my my building and also I'm gonna uh, delete it so I'm saying make deinstall so it's there's no now no. okay there's no now it's not completing the name so why the why did I do that I want to show you what's the meaning of cleaning and what's the meaning of uh, deinstalling okay now I want to uh, show you how you can you speed up the building because it takes a huge huge time when you're building something like a kernel or something like uh, very big of uh, softwares maybe an office or something like this an office software so what you do is go to make and just type if you have for example a, a multi-core uh, processor like an Intel i7 or maybe a dual core or quad core whatever all those CPUs so I type minus J and I, pre I type a number this number is means that uh, like the number of instances or the number of source codes source code text files will be um, uh, compiled and uh, transformed into a, a program uh, to be that will be used as usual and executed okay so I press minus J10 see oh, it doesn't take minus G so I say minus okay now anyway minus j should uh, I know that I'm very pretty sure of this okay so minus j will uh, speed up the building and if I say install okay I think you, you please remember with me the uh, first time we did install without minus j and uh, compare the difference see it was very quick 
So this is without without it. Okay, I'm gonna make the install because it's sort of let me see. No, no, yeah, it is there. Okay, good. So it has been installed. So this is the way to uh, install the uh, software on uh, FreeBSD. Okay, and I hope you liked it. I know I've been uh, through many obstacles, but we passed them. Okay, and uh, thanks for uh, watching. Please subscribe. Okay, and comments. Bye.